Phil putting one card on the bottom. Or maybe not. Well, what happened there? Oh, okay. So you're just putting one card on the bottom. And so is Joe. Okay, so both players multi six. We're, we're, we're finding this out together, everybody. Turn one, portent. Targeting himself. And a very exciting start to the stream. <laughs> Why are Hyena and Side Normal already providing comic relief? Keep it going. Moderators, just keep an eye on those two, please. And a Mother of Runes, turn one for Joe. Aquina says, I voted for the Miracles matchup just because Force of Phil's deck is gorgeous, and I got to see those altered art cards. It's a good reason. Source to Plowshare is on Mom, as Mother of Runes is affectionately called very often. And the mom is gone. Turn to Spirit of the Labyrinth. That's a good one. Spirit of the Labyrinth will be shutting off the, the cantrips for now. Portent, interestingly, not affected since you draw on your opponent's upkeep. It's very exciting. Another swords for Phil, removing the spirit. Let's see what's up next. Ponder. Yeah, so far lots of altars for Force of Phil. If you like altered magic cards, you, you're immediately uh, invited to the Force of Phil fan club, of which there are dozens of people, much like this channel has dozens of fans. If you're one of the dozens of fans of 90s MTG and or Force of Phil, let us know in the YouTube comments if you're watching this later, please. Raise your hand and say, I'm one of them. All right, there's Rishan and Port and Recruiter. That'll resolve, and let's see what Joe chooses to tutor for. Maybe another Spirit, maybe Stoneforge. Uh, I mean, it depends what's in Joe's hand, obviously, but l let's see. Stoneforge, okay. Harry says, does he do his own altars? He does not. Phil uh, commissions altars from a variety of artists. Talks about it quite a bit. Counterbalance. All right. Let's see if let's see if Phil has a two on top. Passing the turn after everyone's favorite enchantment, counterbalance. If you're looking for a good time, <laughs> put counterbalance in your deck. All right, here's a brainstorm in response to Stoneforge. Let's see what happens here. We had some um, technical difficulties firing this event at the shop related to deck list submissions. We were able to get most of the top eight deck lists. If you're interested in deck lists from this event of what we were able to gather, they're posted in our Discord server. Links are down below for the Discord. We're usually able to gather quite a bit more deck lists, but this time there were some uh, hiccups with that, unfortunately. All right, that's, that's an Iganjo coming down there for Joe. New card from Dion Neon Dynasty. And here's Vile. Force of Phil is here. What's up, Force of Phil? Says Counterbalance is actually an immensely fun build around. It's challenging to build and play. Yeah, I, I, I know. I agree. I was just making a joke. Counterbalance is. Uh, Definitely rewards a savvy and experienced control player. Interest, interesting uh, thing about counterbalance, and since we're talking about counterbalance, is it, it, it's legal in modern. Sometimes people forget that it's even legal in modern, but it's just not relevant at all. And um, 
I don't know. There's a lot of reasons for that, but it's just kind of interesting. Here's Prismatic ending on Vile. And it's gone. So, so far, Phil has been able to handle every threat presented by Joe. Stoneforge, gone. Vile, gone. Spirit, gone. Mother of Runes, gone. It's all gone. This Richard in port is looking pathetic so far, too. Hasn't done anything. Tapping three white, and here's Skyclave. Okay. Counterbalance trigger, revealing injury. <laughs> Oh, man. That's just the best. All right, here's Entreat the Angels, making three angels. All right, those three Yu-Gi-Oh cards are angels. We'll be hearing from some of the YouTube commenters about the YouTube cards. Everybody uh, be on the lookout for that. Just warning everybody. All right, Igonjo from hand, a second Igonjo with a different art, is going to take out one of the angels. Uh, I will ask MTG Grixis Delver says, do you think people would play Portent if it was printed in modern? I, I think so, but I don't think they should print it into modern. The whole uh, draw at the next upkeep thing is really outdated and not a very good mechanic, in my opinion. Uh, uh, swords here on um, a Yu-Gi-Oh card, Angel, and a Flood Strand was revealed on top, so it resolves. Sign on to making a point here. Why didn't he port you so you could only make two angels? That's a good point. I think there was an opportunity for that. Here's Batter Skull. Uh oh. Thwart hard casted. Okay, so Batter Skull countered. <laughs> Phil is able to deal with every threat so far. So a port now activated on upkeep. Attacking for four with an angel. Looks like Joe is hellbent. See two uh, empty hands on the on screen now. Porting again on upkeep, attacking for four. Mystic Sanctuary put in treat on top. And it looks like Phil got this one. Game one goes to force of Phil, Phil Blackman. And underway for game two. And another turn one, Mother of Runes for Joe. Side owner says Mystical Tutor is power. Yes, powerful card. Cathar Commando comes down. All right, so maybe some sideboarding happened here or a uh, main deck Cathar Commando looking a little bit better than it normally would against Miracles, given that we just saw a counterbalance last game put in some work. Looking more exciting, I should say. Coca, thank you for the resub. Two months for Coca. Looks like a matchup out of 2018. Awesome. Yeah, it does. It does. Uh, keep in mind, though, Legacy was only good until 2017 before uh, War of the Spark ruined everything. So don't get too excited about 2018, everybody. It, it's, it's my job as a host of a legacy channel to... <laughs> I can't. I can't keep a straight face today. To just, <laughs> to just uh, be a complete bummer and remind everybody how terrible everything is. Stone for Stoneforge comes down here for Joe. Let's see what gets looked for, and it'll be Batter Skull. Okay. 
We don't know what's in Joe's hand, but Death and Taxes player is watching both in the live chat and later. Do you, do you prefer looking for um, Caldra Kumpleyat or Batter Skull in that position or something else? So Norna corrects me and says War came out in 2019. I actually didn't know when War came out. I was just making all that up. 2019 sounds right, though. <laughs> Alpha says, I'd argue Delver ruined Legacy. Everything since has been a disaster. Alpha is stuck in the year 2010, everybody. Wow. Alpha... Life is passing you by. <laughs> Coca says, but of course, back when Siege Gang Commander was the best top end I could be playing. Exactly. That, that's what we all want. We want Siege Gang Commanders. You know. What? <laughs> Is that eight and a half tails? Oh, today. It's fine. Uh, Gains protection. Targets. I forgot what that card even does. White, white, fox cleric, two, two, white, one, target permanent, you control gains protection from white until end of turn. One target spell or permanent becomes white until end of turn. Wow. All right. That, that's a spicy one. I did not see that one coming. Um, I'm going to put Terminus on that. All right. Terminus going back on top here. This is Sanctuary. <laughs> and slamming Jace. Let's see what happens. Brainstorm. Chase gets hit by eight and a half tails. I don't think that's a line I've said so far yet on 90s MTG, his terminus. And the fox will go on the bottom of the library. Chase brainstorm. Queen S says, imagine how much better Joe's position if that was Spirit of the Labyrinth instead of eight and a half tails. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't have Joe's deck list, and I don't know if uh, Eight and a Half Tails could have been a fourth or whatever spirit, or if there are already four spirits in the deck or whatever, but Eight and a Half Tails didn't look that exciting there. Yeah, it also looks like this deck does not have Yurion. Uh, Romelito in the chat pointing that out. Um, no Yurion. Here's another portent for Phil. It also looks like Phil has cut red from the list. Oh, Phil says it has Yurion. Okay, so Yurion must be off, off screen. Sorry about that, everybody. Just don't see it on camera. What does Joe have here? Five lands in play. We know about a batter skull, right? Isn't there a batter skull in hand? Yes. Yeah, Richard and Pizza uh, completely correct in the chat. Yurion should be on a companion official token from Wizards of the Coast. Unfortunately, Richard and Pizza, Joe does not take this game as seriously as he should. It's just a shame. All right, there's Skyclave Apparition. <laughs> Just to...
Zero regular. Thanks for the follow. Welcome. Skyclave gets responded to with predict milling a wear tear into the graveyard, guessing correctly. And here's Thwart returning two Mystic Sanctuaries and Tundra to hand to counter Skyclave and protect Jace. Very nice. All right, there's counterbalance again. Twitch chat hoping Phil can protect Jace here. And there's a swords on the recruiter. Okay, maybe some miscommunication there in the middle of a Jace brainstorm. Joe started going to untap step, but it's all good. Uh, maybe a discard to hand size needed to happen. Okay, so the players are moving along now. Back to Joe with no creatures on the battlefield in a creature-heavy deck. Usually means something is going wrong. Let's see if Joe can recover, falling behind. Spirit of the Labyrinth revealing Sabo's web on the top of the library. <laughs> oh, man. Urion to hand. There's the Urion. Force of Phil says, Jace the Mind Sculptor brainstorming continues to search for entreat to close the door, but with a full grip, the game is effectively locked up anyway. Yeah. I mean, if you're the Death and Taxes player with no creatures on the battlefield and your Miracles opponent has Jace counterbalance and seven cards in hand, discarding to hand size on end step the previous turn, you're in trouble. Everybody, you're, you're in trouble. Things are not going well. Here's Mystic Sanctuary. Let's see what gets put back on top. So wear terror may be proof that red has not been completely cut from Force of Phil's list, but it looks like it's been reduced. I don't think we'll see expressive iterations in this build, but I don't know. Queen S is uh, excited for Sabo's web to make an appearance. Quite spicy. Agreed. And there it is, Sabo's web. Draw a card. And maybe another discarding the hand size happening here. Discards an island and passes the turn. Judge called for the interaction between a Ganjo and Sabo's web. It's an activated ability on channel or no? Like, will Sabo's web see it? Great question that I don't know the answer to. Will Sabo's web stop a Ganjo? That's activated? Huh? That's an activated ability? It's in my hand? It's very on point. Like, like a port or something activates in play. Right. Uh, play. Okay. So the, 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 the question here is, does Iganjo untap? I think the answer is no. I think it does not untap. Let's see what the judge uh, who's currently looking into the situation has to say about it. 
against 12 plus, which is obviously a horrific matchup. But my opponent went Primeval Titan and searched up an Iobugan. And then yeah. Ion Tap played that and locked down the Iobugan. It was so sweet. Yeah. I still lost that game, but it was so sweet. <laughs> still sharing a little anecdote there. Waiting on a judge ruling on this Igonjo situation. Yeah. Yeah. If it has a colon, yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, All right. So it looks like I was right. Sabo's web will lock down Igonjo. Pretty neat. Good catch by the players. Channel is an activated ability, yes. Anything that's cost, colon, is a uh, activated ability. That's how it works. Hurts? Two. And channel does not produce mana, so Sabo's web will shut down Igonjo. All right, another Mystic Sanctuary for Force of Phil. Let's see what goes back on top. I'm not even sure what's in the graveyard. Thwart. Thwart goes back on top. Um, I will move to discard. Uh, now going to discard. So that means I see your hand and I search. Okay, so an end step solitude. Okay. So Thwart's on top of the library. And a Swords on Solitude. So it looks like Phil will no longer have to discard the hand size. And the turn is over. Let's say Advantage Bar is all the way to the right. Luanil, thank you for the resub. 25 months for Luanil. What's up, Jason? Thank you, thank you. Thalia. Okay. All right. Prismatic ending. And okay. Almost accidentally put it on the bottom. Jace brainstorm. We can't see Phil's hand, but I think at this point we could just uh, assume it's packed with removal and counter magic and any any uh threat that Joe presents will be unlikely to be successful in any way. Especially with counterbalance here. So ponder shuffle. Phil took a quick glance at those cards and said, Nope, throwing that away. There's a Volcanic Island. Pass the turn. Anybody joining us now? This is the competitive monthly legacy tournament at Game Storia in New York City. We had five rounds of Swiss, and we're in round one. Uh, Mechanic Island. Um, I will move to discard. Okay. Move to discard. Discard prismatic ending. Harry Houdini says, "What's the prize structure um, based on uh, entries? It's." Uh, Whatever the entries are back in store credit, basically. Usually adds up to around or just under a 1K. Uh, I'll make four but it depends on the turnout. Completely proportionate. All right, here's Entreat the Angels creating. It looks like four angels or five angels. Four. Attacking for 16 here. I will face it. 
fate seal. Look like a vial on top. It looks like Phil's going to allow that to stick around. Joe has played plenty of lands. And now scoops it up. Force of Phil gets there with miracles. Force of Phil gets there with miracles.